Take it down. Watch your boys. Watch your boys. Two shots. Oh my God! What's this? Did we lose? No, no, no. Allen gets two shots from the free throw line. If he makes them both, we win the game. What if he misses? If he misses, we lose. I think you should put on that jacket. There's cold in the gym. That's right. Jules, give him your sweater. Good idea. No, no, no. I don't think we should bother him right now. Two shots. I can make two shots. This is a piece of cake. I think I'm gonna die. so I can take the shots? OK, don't worry about me, Alan. You can make them both, Alan. You really think so? No, but at a time like this, what else am I going to say? Thanks, Warren. You ready, son? Ready. I can do this. I can do this. Concentrate. Block out all distractions. There's nothing in this gym but me, the ball, and the basket. Total concentration. This is going in. He's just trying to ice you, Silver. He's just trying to ice you. Yeah, Alan, he's just trying to ice you. Just trying to ice you. What's ice you mean? It's all part of the game, Belinsky. He's trying to make Silver choke. Oh, no, you're not going to choke, are you, Alan? I hope not, Benny. Here you go, Larry. Thanks, Nady. Don't worry. You're going to make the baskets, both of them. Did I thank you for letting me be on the team and for letting me wear the uniform? A thousand times, Nady. Oh, well, thanks again, Alan. How you feeling? I feel good, Coach. You're my boy, Silver. You're my boy. Well, I, I don't really mean that. I mean, you're not my son. I'm not your father. You know that. What I mean is, is that you're a pressure player. Now, forget about the fact that everybody's counting on you. Your, your family, your teammates, your neighborhood, the state of New York. You make these two baskets, you beat Rigo Park. You think about that. You beat Rigo Park. Rigo Park. I'm gonna beat Rigo Park. You guys against Rigo Park, huh? Big game. They're yeah, tough. Very tough. We can't lose. We can't lose. Alan, and I have been giving this a lot of thought, and this is definitely the most important game of our lives. These are the guys that beat us last year. Remember, they kept us out of the championship? Oh, God, that was a terrible game. 57-56 in triple overtime. Bobby Feinstein threw up. Yeah, Bobby Feinstein wasn't even on the team. He was in the stands. That's how bad it was. Alan, we have to win this game tomorrow. We will. Winning's everything. You show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. Listen to you. Whatever happened to playing for the glory of the sport, the thrill of competition? Kids today, I got a little advice for you, gentlemen. When you go out on that court tomorrow, remember this. It's not the team with the most points that truly wins the game. It's the team that wages a vigorous, sportsmanlike battle. These are the true winners. Not bad, Sid. You go out there and you play hard. Who cares if you lose the game? Yeah, I, I guess you're right. But whatever you do, don't lose by more than two and a half points. You got that? Two and a half. It's important. All right, all right, go get him. But don't think too much out there, OK? You don't think. Don't think. Don't think. No thinking. No thinking. No thinking. No thinking. Don't think. Uh-oh. I'm thinking. This is thinking. I'm thinking about thinking. I should just think about basketball. Fundamentals. That's what I'll think about. Free throws are important game factors. At the free throw line, the right foot is 8 to 10 inches behind the left. The back is straight, the knees bent. Our old reliable one-hand push shot is also widely used for free throws. Since so many games are won on shots from the foul line, our players practice free throws for 30 minutes every day. Well, that was very helpful. Why can't I relax? I've got nothing to worry about. I made 79 out of 100 of these in practice just yesterday. 
Wait, that means I missed 21. What if these are two of the 21? And this is an actual game. That was just practice. Hey, j Lemonade, that's for me here. Hi, I was practice. You're home. Yeah, it's not gonna work early. Got some thirsty athletes here. So, boys, you played good with the baskets and the balls? Oh, you missed it, Mr. Burger. Alan's just like Bob Pettit. Pettit shoots, he scores! Who's Bob Pettit? Who's Bob Pettit? Grandpa, <laughs> that's like asking, who's Bob Cousy? Okay, who's Bob Cousy? How many free throws did you make today, Alan? 79 out of 100, right? That's good. Phenomenal. I think you love in this game. That's what I think. If we're playing like this tomorrow, we're gonna kill Rigo Park. Look, you don't have to kill anybody, boys. It's just a game. If we win, you know what the first thing I'm gonna do is? What's that? The first thing I'm gonna do is die. Because there'd be no reason to keep on living. That would be it. I would die a happy Jewish Community House Junior League champion. Oh, no. Poor Benny. This game means everything to him. To everybody. Well, everybody but Mom. So you guys had a good practice, huh? Yeah, I really think we might win this thing. Wouldn't that be incredible? Yeah. So, did you finish Grapes of Wrath? Sort of. Sort of? Yeah, um, I'm very close. I bet you I finish it tonight. I'm finished with the Grapes part. All I got left is the Wrath. Very funny. I'm on page 91. It's a 500-page book. I know, Mom, but I don't want to rush through it. I mean, it's like a fine wine. The Grapes of Wrath. I want to savor it. We made a deal. I know, I know. We take out two library books a week. If I read them, you let me play as much sports as is humanly possible. That's right. No books, no ball. You have to make an exception here, Mom. It's the championship game. And I did finish the other book of Mice and Men. Phenomenal, by the way. Loved all the characters, especially the mice. <laughs> Alan. Why don't you come watch me play tomorrow, Mom? It'll be fun. Uh-uh-uh. You know how I feel about sports. Oh, you don't have to watch. Bring a book. Now, there's an idea. You never come watch me play, Mom. I can't. I don't know who that boy is out there. He's so angry. I think that's on my son. Mom, that's good anger. It's aggressiveness. It's much sought after in a ball player. Helps you to win. Maybe. Aren't you happy when we win? I don't know. Because if you win, that means some other boys have to lose. They have mothers, too. How do you think they feel? Well, Mom, if you come at it from that angle, the whole world of competitive sports comes crashing down, doesn't it? Would that be so bad? Oh, by the way, the first 91 pages of Grapes of Wrath, they're fantastic. <laughs> I should have finished that stupid book. Now I'm gonna be punished. I'm gonna miss this shot. I'm gonna throw up a brick. Let's go, son. Take the first shot. Okay, okay, come on. Don't get down on yourself. I can do this. I'm the guy the coach wants on the line. I'm a pressure player. Pressure players always come through. Pressure is on. Nick's down by one. Three seconds left. Silver throws up a prayer from deep in the corner. It's good! Nick's win! Nick's win. All right! Unbelievable! You're incredible, Alan. Well, what can I say? When you got it, you got it. The Great Ones always want the ball, right, Alan? Right, Nady. And JCH is gonna crush Rigo Park, right? That's right. I get to be on the team, right, Alan? You sure do. Thanks for letting me be on the team. You're welcome. And thanks for letting me wear a uniform. You're welcome. Thanks, Alan. You wanna take a shot, Nady? Thanks, Alan. Nice shot, Nady. Hey, you want to take the shot? Look at the time. The boys must be getting hungry. I doubt it, Mom. I think they should stop the game now. Me too. I think it's too cold to play. Ellen, put on the jacket. Shh, let them concentrate. Go get him, Alan. God, I'd better make this. Clear your mind. Just think about the shot. Nothing else. Uh-oh. I'm not thinking about the shot. I don't believe this. What am I thinking about? I know what I'm thinking about. Oh, this is really smart. I'm in the middle of a very important basketball game, and I'm thinking about Katie Monahan. I'm looking at Katie Monahan. I gotta keep my mind in the game. Forget about Katie. Okay, one more look. Now I'll look at Dad, and Grandpa, and Grandma, and Nady. And Mom? What's Mom doing here? I can't believe she picks this game in this moment to show up. Okay, that's enough. No more thinking, no more looking. Shoot the ball, tie the game.
great. Okay, for the next shot, here's what I want you to do. Do exactly what you did before. I'm so lucky to be your friend. Ben! Okay, one more shot. Wait till he shoots it. I can't miss this. I feel good. I hit the last one, I'll hit this one. It'll be great. Everybody's here, even Mom. If I make this, I'm a major hero. Alan. Hi, Mom. What's wrong? Wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I have incredible news. What? You know that book report you wrote on the Grapes of Wrath? Oh, I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I only wrote it on the first 91 pages, but I never actually finished the book. Alan, your book report, it's been published! Published? Yes! Isn't that incredible? There was a publisher in the stands when you hit those free throws last night. So he published my book report? Yes. Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. So proud. Anytime you're ready, son. Is he okay, George? Alan, he's doing terrific. No, he, he looks a little dazed. Dazed? No, no, that's the look of an athlete concentrating. He's focusing. He doesn't even know there's anybody in the gym. I know everybody in the stands. My family, Sid. Oh, my God, Katie. I've got to hit this shot. I can't miss in front of Katie. Well, not that Katie would care about a thing like this. Would she? I've never seen better free throw shooting, Alan. Never. Thanks, Katie. Especially under such intense pressure. Here we are. Would you like a little more, Katie? No, thank you, Mrs. Berger. It was delicious. Ellen? Uh, no, thanks, Grandma. OK. I'll leave you two alone then, all right? Mm, such a handsome couple to see you together makes me so happy. Have fun. She is so nice. Yeah. Well, what were you saying before? Oh, I was just saying that the way you shot those free throws, it made me realize something, Alan. Oh? It made me realize that no matter how long I search, I'll never find another boy like you. Never. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Alan, can I... What? What is it? Well, would you kiss me? Kiss you? <laughs> sure, why not? Fourteen, you gonna kiss it or you gonna shoot it? Sorry. Yeah, this is going in. I was definitely gonna make it. I was definitely gonna make the shot. Let it go, Ben. What are you doing, Belinsky? You iced your best friend. Oh, no, Alan. I iced you. I iced you. That's it. Game's over. We're gonna lose. Sorry, Alan. It's okay, Benny. Oh, sure, it's fine. We're complete losers for the rest of our lives, but it's just fine. Losers for the rest of our lives? Just because of one shot? More tea? Oh, no, thank you, Mrs. You're Berger. sure? Nothing else? The brisket, the bundt cake, everything was perfect. Such an honor, Mr. Louis Nyman, the most famous attorney in America, interviewing our Ellen. I have to show you more pictures. Uh, yes, he's a handsome young man. And smart. First in his class at Columbia Law School. He could have gone to Harvard, except I want him close to home. Your son's credentials are very impressive, Mrs. Silver. Thank you. It's in the blood. Which, by the way, Alan could never stand the sight of. That's why his brother Nathaniel is the one that's studying medicine. I must say, this is the finest resume I have ever seen. Mrs. Berger. Mrs. Silver? I want to offer Alan a position as full partner in my firm. Really? Yes. Nyman and Silver. That sounds wonderful. Silver and Nyman sounds better. Silver and Nyman it is. Do you think he's up to the job? Oh, Mr. Nyman, I can guarantee you he'll give it his best shot. 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 Wait a second. Is your Alan Silver the same Alan Silver who missed the foul shot 11 years ago and broke the collective heart of an entire community? No, that was somebody else. No, no, I remember that face. The deal's off.
I'm gonna miss this shot. I'm gonna ruin my life. That's how it works. One little mistake and the whole thing starts to unravel. Not just my life, but everybody I know. I'll take them all down with me. Hi, Dad. Hi, Ella. What's the matter, Dad? Nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? You look a little down. Well, maybe a little, but everything will work out just fine. Don't worry. What do you mean, Dad? What happened? Well, remember the other night when you missed that free throw and lost the game? Oh, sure, I'll never forget it. <laughs> Turns out the Postmaster General was in the crowd. The Postmaster General? That's right. And tonight he... Well, I got laid off. You lost your job? Yeah. You lost your job because I missed the free throw? That's right. Well, I, I'm gonna go get cleaned up for dinner. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, forget it. Oh, one more thing. You wouldn't mind if we lived in a smaller apartment, would you? A smaller apartment? See, the landlord was at the game, too, and... Oh, Dad. Come on, Alan, snap out of it. It's just a game. In a couple of weeks, nobody will even remember the score. My life is not going to be any different whether I make this shot or not, right? What, my friends are gonna turn on me? Benny, Warren? You mean we can never speak to him again? I'm not gonna. Just because he missed the foul shot? He didn't just miss the foul shot, Ben. He lost us the championship. But we've been friends for so long. Look, you want to be pals with the loser? That's fine. Me, I'm moving on. Yeah, I guess you're right. Gee, it was fun while it lasted. We were the three musketeers. So now we're in the market for a new musketeer. A new musketeer? What are they talking about? I mean, who would they get? I wonder what Mike Pollock's doing. Nah, he's not a musketeer. You know who can really shoot free throws? Harvey Rosen. Yeah, let's give him a call. Okay, no more musketeers. What about Katie? What would Katie do? Silver shoots. He misses. Darn. Hi, Alan. Hi. How are you feeling? Not so hot. Alan, it was just a game. Yeah, a big game. The biggest. It's not like your life is over or anything. You're right. I don't know why I'm letting this get me down. You're a great guy. Forget about the game. Thanks, Katie. I'm feeling better already. That's more like it. Well, I have to go. But I did want to say one thing. I don't think that we should see each other anymore. What? Well, after you missed that free throw, I realized that there are plenty of other guys out there. And some of them are probably great foul shooters. But, but Katie, I don't understand. Here's your Valentine's card back. What? And the note you wrote me when I was in Ohio visiting my cousins. Oh, yeah. And the ID bracelet you gave me. ID bracelet? B but Katie... It's been lots of fun, Alan. I really wish you'd made that free throw. I really do. So long. So long. Oh, do you have Warren's number? So, Alan, did we win? Grandma, I'm about to shoot. Because I have a roast in the oven. Come on, Silver, move it. Can you please go back up to the stands now so I can miss this shot and ruin the rest of my life? What are you talking? Nothing can ruin your life, sweetie. Oh, please don't call me sweetie in front of everybody. One silly game is going to ruin your life? It's not silly. Of course it's silly, win or lose, who cares? You still have your family that loves you, all your nice friends. That's what's important. Now, go shoot your ball already. We'll have a roast. Grandma's right. Of course Grandma's right. Grandma's always right. Who cares if I make this? It's not so important. 
that compared to my family and my friends. This is just one shot. That's my whole life. It is just a game. A great game, but it's just a game. I guess I really have everything I need. Even if I miss, I can't lose. I have my family and my friends. They love me and I love them. When I look back at 25 years, that's what I'll remember. My friends, my family, the neighborhood. That's some game. Come on, nobody really cares if I hit this shot. Except maybe Sid. Yeah, that's what's important. But let's face it, if I miss this shot, I will die. <laughs>